essential sport in this. It's the logical and emotional connection, technologies and art. Perfect balance between the functionality and aesthetic. A good design should strike at the first moment you look at it. We look at everything that's going on, whether it's fashion industry or mobility industry. One image is the black pebble on the beach. Natural elements. The changing times. By rethinking, you challenge yourself. But without challenge, design is not that fun. Sustainability is no longer optional. This is a responsibility of the designer. We actually came up with the idea with kind of like a joystick. I would say this is the most striking feature of this interior. It frees up the space. This had an impact on the whole design. Well, part of the joy I get is getting into trouble. But we're here to push and push and push. The bubble shape, like a spaceship, gives you a feeling that the future could be bright and delightful. If we can create a product where people smile and see an optimistic future, that's what our goal is. The real progress in design is to be honest. We want to create optimism again. It has to be the blueprint of the under design in future. The real voice for the future. Do it and believe it. Hello, I'm Luke Donkwork, Chief Design Officer for the Hyundai Model Group and here to present you Prophecy. Prophecy is our latest creation and as you see it is a four-door coupe type of vehicle um, which is inspired by the streamlined vehicles of the 1920s and 30s but has also a strong aeronautical influence and inspire, inspiration as you see on the, the rear wheel but the same thing applies to the front uh, a propeller typed wheel uh, which is also functional as it extracts the hot air from the brakes um, you will notice the falling roof uh, this really sleek shape had to be had to be complemented by a spoiler in order to um, get the right aerodynamical values for such a sleek vehicle with a low back end. Um, and at the same time you'll notice the contrast between these nice fluid forms but um, the pixels. Pixels are there as an, a symbol for how digitalized we are in, this, in the company but also there to contrast with the nice fluid forms otherwise it would be too much of a uh, good thing um, and um, again once again the really nice tension you have in those volumes something that we have tend to lose in the last decades of design and all the details like the pop-up cameras on the glass which are also um, aerodynamically integrated in order to reduce the impact of those elements on the aerodynamic you will notice as well we have a really fluid car, which has is puristic. It's needing as little element as possible. So we contrast it again, once again, on the front with the pixels, but also we gave life to the Hyundai badge. And the styling was puristic and silent because we are designing an electric vehicle, which doesn't emit any sound, which means that in that case, we want the styling to reflect also this kind of concept. Now that we're staying here, the first thing that is obvious is the name, Prophecy. One might wonder why this name. Well, actually, we don't do show cars for show business at Hyundai Design. When we do a show car, it anticipates the future. So this is a prophecy of the future, something you will see in, on the streets soon. Um, so that's for the name. Now let's talk about the interior. Uh, you will notice that the interior is really puristic. It's clean, it's dark like the outside uh, why dark first normally we always do show cars which are light inside but in this case uh, we inspired ourselves from one of the um, tropical wonders of of korea which is the jeju island it's a volcanic island and you will see the the shores in volcanic ashes uh, dark which with the blue uh, uh, waves and this is what inspired this topographic layering on the on the floor you will notice as well this this flat floor 
and the first thing that will come to your mind is the steering wheel is missing. Yes, the steering wheel is missing because we substituted for a car which is anyway steered by wire um, with a digital command which are the two joysticks you see here in the inside of the vehicle. They actually help you command with precision and also liberate a lot of space whether you are driving or you are uh, in a relaxed mode and it gives you then access to the the panoramic screen behind for uh, entertainment but also for um, the feedback of the cameras um, and also on the nearby you have the driving instruments you, you which you see there um, there's also a big um, highlight to the vehicle is as we have really nice smooth shapes we wanted to contrast them with pixels once again in the in the doors um, but also with the tartan the tartan that we have on the seats but also on the on the roof um, is allowing to give a, an interest to a shape which is also fluid and sleek and nice um, so it's a it's a dome with interesting graphics It looks stunning. Absolutely. Well, that's a first great reaction, but now let's get inside and look at all the amazing details. Rays. Oh, wow, what is that? Isn't it cool? Absolutely. Absolutely. Going from the relaxed mode to a driving mode, um, but keeping all the, 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 the space you need um, that, uh, that you have already on the floor pan and you also have it on the, on the dashboard. Absolutely amazing, but look, please don't get me wrong, but where's the steering wheel? <laughs> well, the same concept of trying to liberate the space that we get from the electric platform came into the ergonomic uh, interface with the driver. So we worked with the AWTH of Aachen on creating a digital communication. And um, by using the joysticks, you have a more precise interface with the driver, but at the same time, we don't have the steering wheel that we have to retract for the lifestyle mode. So that means you have two joysticks installed yes. and uh, you navigate with these joysticks, so to speak, through the environment, yes. right? 90% of the commands can be uh, executed through the two joysticks. It's a really precise uh, uh, command. But at the same time, we even have a doubling of some functions uh, for security like the pedals. And we talked about the exterior. We, we emphasized a little bit on, on the wheel and we said that this was inspired, the design was inspired by aerospace industry. Has it been also inspired by the aerospace industry? You have pedals, you have joysticks, you have an iconic wheel. It does. You see it on the, the streamline outside with the, with the dome inside, which automatically has this cockpit feel. And uh, obviously the joystick gives this feeling of aeronautically inspired, which is extremely emotional. But, but look, beside all this great technology, I detected a very new kind of fabric can you explain it? Is it wool or what kind yes. of fabric is this? Well, it's actually it's, it's actually a tartan wool fabric, which is um, which we love because it contrasts the really soft shapes of our car. It com contradicts and complements mm -hmm. the, the shapes, but at the same time, it is again one of the sustainable materials we use. All the materials we use are absolutely sustainable. It belongs to the whole concept of being of reducing the footprint of this vehicle. So look, are there any new technologies in regards of air conditioning or clean air? Yes, actually it's a, it's a part of the concept of the vehicle as we have this dome um, housed into the streamlined body. So you have a double glazing which incorporates the, the clean air purifier, but on top of that it creates a, a thermic cushion which allows to have to use, utilize less energy for the air conditioning. Um, by having this recirculation, re purifying of the air and at the same time um, insulating you from the outside temperature, you can optimize the energy you need from the batteries for the motion okay. of the vehicle. That's, that's really new, huh? new technology we have never seen before. And completely integrate into the architecture of the design right. of the vehicle. Nice. And it be taken as, as uh, so to speak, test bed? 
Of course. I mean, this is, this is, would be like the, the, the Apple loop, uh, which is reducing, uh, energy from the air conditioning. The same thing applies to cars. We have to be efficient in all the aspects of the vehicle. Let's have a quick look at the curved screen in the front, in the very front. It goes from, so to speak, uh, coast to coast, right? Yes. Exactly. You have basically in an entertainment mode, you have the, the access to a panoramic display, uh, but only in the, in the relaxed mode. Uh, as soon as you drive, you basically have the focusing on the elements, on the, 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 what's in the instruments that are needed for driving. Wow. Very nice. Very cool, yeah. And the roominess is amazing. It, it, is, it is, again, the, the great advantage of this electric platform where you, you have the flat floor pan combined with the joysticks, as we mentioned before. It, it just gives you such a generosity and such a great lounge feel. It's very really different. Nice. 